Thank you all. Thank you all so much for coming this evening. Thank you, Maury, and thank you to my family and friends that came out this evening to support this very important cause. I stand here tonight as a representative of the great group of leaders that I have the privilege of working with together. Let me acknowledge Maish and Alan, really unbelievable leaders who work tireless, tirelessly on behalf of the Kahal. Maury, who has almost single-handedly pioneered the practice of Jewish advocacy and has pushed it to the level and now finds itself across 10 different states. Jake Adler, who patrols the halls of the Capitol furthering our cause. He really does. And Yosef Kanofsky, who's the secret sauce, responsible for the collection of the tens of millions of dollars our schools receive each year. He is continuously finding more and more money for our member schools. And thank you, of course, to Annie and to Sydney, who are so fortunate to be with us today, who lead our grassroots efforts. You all do such great work that makes us so successful. And then to my amazing partners, the lay leadership, the team I am honored to work with day in, day out. To Chuck, Sammy, and Elliot, who originally pioneered advocacy for the Orthodox Jewish community. And of course, to our fearless leader, Neil Cohen, and the driving executive board of Jack, Ira, Barry, Howie, and Ronnie, all of whom in their individual capacities devote so much of their time and have a large part in the success we have achieved to this point. I stand here tonight and accept this honor on behalf of each and every one of you who each deserve it as much or more so than I do. The greatest existential threat that we face as a modern Orthodox community is that of the tuition crisis, one that threatens the future of our people and our faith. It is the single greatest cost for households, even greater than housing and food. We have all read the Jerusalem blog post, I can do Jewish on just $40,000 a year. The blog post that was officially shared over 25,000 times and probably hundreds of thousands of times via email and shared links. And it carries the byline. The cost of religious life was leading to financial ruin. The solution was to drop out. Ari Solomon, our executive director at Hafter, who is here tonight, shared with me countless stories of families facing exceedingly financial hardship in meeting their tuition bills and more families than ever simply giving up and moving their children to public school at the expense of a Jewish education. Ari shared a heartbreaking story with me last night of a family with five children in yeshiva. The father came to Ari and said, Ari, when we realized we cannot afford yeshiva tuition for all five of our children, my wife and I decided that our oldest, who was a few years from high school graduation, had enough grounding to be able to go to public school so we could send our youngest three and continue them in the yeshiva system. Ari, he said, my oldest son no longer keeps kosher, is no longer observant, and no longer wants anything to do with Judaism. In tears, he told Ari, Ari, we cannot afford the tuition for our other three children, but Ari, we do not want to lose our other three children. Please help me, he cried. Dear friends, we cannot lose our children. We cannot let this happen. Teach NYS brings money into our schools so that we can ease the burden of tuition on our community and our parents. We do it by advocating and lobbying the state to reimburse our schools for mandated services like science, math, and attendance. That's what we do. These are the numbers, and I'll make them as simple as possible. The state education budget in New York is $27 billion. Non-public school students are 15% of the state students. If non-public schools were fairly funded, we would receive roughly $4 billion. Yeshivas and Jewish day schools are 40% of all non-public school students in the state. So our share would be $1.5, $1.5 billion. To put that number in perspective, the entire budget for all yeshiva and Jewish day schools in the state of New York is estimated to be $3 billion. So what does that all mean? If we were fairly funded, the cost of yeshiva tuition would be half. 
That's right, half of what it is today. Now I know you're thinking I'm crazy. There's no way we'll ever get that type of money. But I'm telling you that if you ask Maury, he will tell you how many people told him he was crazy when he started this whole effort because we were never, ever, ever going to get anything more than money for after-school busing. But how wrong they were. <laughs> Governor Cuomo has told us many, many times that if we had the support of every legislator across the state, and if we reach out to each and every council member, success is ensured. My message tonight is this. You can make a difference. You have the ability to spread the word to your neighbors, to tell them what Teach is doing, and how, we're, and how you're getting involved. Call, email, meet with your local assembly representative, state senator, city councilman, and tell them how unjust the system is and that we rightfully deserve our fair share. Progress will only happen if we all, each and every one of us, get involved. It's easy to say let Cal and Sammy and Chuck and Maury and Neil and Jack do all the work, but we cannot do it alone. We need your assistance and help in advocating and educating and speaking up for your rights and for our community. If you believe we have a problem, you can make a difference. You really can, each and every one of you. Advocate the issues because each and every one of us can make a difference in the future of Jewish education. I close with one request. Please join us in our fight for the future of our people and our community. Thank you very much.